Hey guys, it's Emma from I Create Crafts. In today's video, my mom and I will be showing you how to create these funny Dollar Tree toilet paper gag gifts. Everything you will need will be listed below in the description box. These were so much fun to create, we had a great time making them. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's get started. Papers are so much fun to make. You can make them for Christmas as a white elephant gift. You can make them as a joke. You can make them say anything you want. Um, these are the ones that I created here. I saw these on Pinterest and I kind of gave it my own little take on it. So I did create these ones myself. Obviously these ones are more easier to make and these two are a little bit more difficult and take a little bit more time, but it was fun creating them. Um, I know that there are toilet paper SVG files on designbundles.net. That's where I get most of my images from. So I will leave the link below in case you're interested in going that route. Um, so I will show you quickly how I made this one here. I actually made the mistake of this one where I uh, welded it instead of attaching it. So that made it be that I cannot unweld this after I did it. So I need to make a different one because I wanted to make this poop emoji brown and the rest of it black or blue, whatever color you want. I thought brown and black would go good together, but unfortunately I welded it and there's nothing else I can do for it. I tried to contour it, but then the line is here. Um, I mean, it just, it, it, it would just take too long to redo, uh, undo what I did. So I'm just going to show you how I did it really quick. So I'm going to go to upload and I, I found this border here. So I'm going to click that one and insert image. And all I did was I went to, um, Google and I typed in double box outline and then I put in SVG and I look at the images and I found it here. So you can use any of these that don't have watermarks on it or have sayings in the middle of it or that somebody's selling. So if you find one on Pinterest like this that doesn't have a border behind it, you're more than welcome to use it. Just want to right click, you want to save image as and then save it onto your computer. So that's where I found that from. So that's where I got this one. So I'm just going to take this and drag it over a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to type in tear wrapper in case of emergency. So just easy way, just go in here and type it in. So here it is here, I'm just gonna pull it up. And with this one, I already started working on this one before, so my um, font is what I wanted already. So it's on black Arial, or Arial Black, so I'm using that. I always go in the system and find the images there, or the fonts there rather. The Cricut makes you pay for these fonts if you uh, don't have the monthly or the yearly subscription. I don't pay for that anymore, so I go to system. And these are the ones that you get for free that Cricut gives you, or these are the ones that I downloaded from defont.com. If you're not familiar with that, I do have a video uh, farther back that you can look at, and I will link that one below as well. So I like this uh, text that it has, this font that it has. So I'm just gonna keep going and then do in case of. So I'm just gonna go to text and type that in. And then to get those little dots next to them, these lines, you could go to text and then just hold down these little dashes, I guess if you want to call them, on your computer. But as you can see, it leaves little lines in between and I didn't want that. So the way that I did that, I'm going to get rid of that, is I go into shape and I click square. Bring it down so we can see it. I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to make it just big enough whatever size that I want and before I go any further I'm actually going to move this box out of the way and I'm going to take these two and I'm going to align it there we go now I can know where the center part or where I want to put this on the edge and I want to make this just a little bit smaller and then I'll have to align it again so I'll just select those two go to align center it and then now you can work with this you can make it bigger smaller whatever you want. I think I might make it just a little bit smaller. Put it about there. And then to make another one, you just want to click on it and then duplicate it. So you have the same size, the width, everything that you need. So I'm just going to click on this little guy and move him over here. Try to eyeball it, kind of see where it looks centered on both sides. 
So I like it there. So before I even go any further, I'm just going to take all of this and I'm going to attach it so that when I move this back up, I won't take one of these by mistake. So I'm just going to finish and put emergency in here. So just go down to text again and then just type that one in, drag it up into my box. I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. So just click the unlock box. I'm going to move it over a little bit. There. So that was as easy as that could be. You could do any text, any color, any font that you want. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. One last thing I'm going to do is just hide or move this box again. Select all three. And now because I did these two, because I already attached these, this won't go anywhere. This will stay right where it is. Like if I did not attach these, if I would align this, it would just go right in the middle here. So I'm just going to take all of this, go up here to align, and then center just that. So it will center everything for me. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not once you get to know what you're doing. So the last thing I'm going to do, sorry, last thing, is attach it all. So I'm just going to grab it and attach it. That means it won't go anywhere, it won't move, it'll print out as it is. So I like it the way it looks. One last center, I swear this is it. So I grabbed it all. I'm going to center it. I like it the way it looks. Now I just have to get the emoji. So I'm going to go to my upload and I'm just going to grab it here. I did the same thing. I went onto Google and I just looked up poop emoji and this is what came up. So I just clean it up a little bit in design space. I'm going to shrink it a little bit and I like how I had it curved over the edge here, but not too big. So there, so my mistake was is I, my mistake was is I grabbed it all and I welded it. Do not do that if you want your emoji to be a different color. So I'm gonna change this emoji to a different color really quick. I'm gonna grab it, click the color box and change it to brown. So that when this cuts out, it will cut all out in black just as you see it. So this is the way it's gonna be. And then it will cut this emoji out separate. So everything is good the way it's gonna go. This is the same thing. I attached all this already so it will cut out as you see it. This guy I'm done with. I'm going to just delete that one. The last thing you want to do is just measure your toilet paper. I'm just going to go to make it and show you this really quick because you've got to make sure. If you're using HTP heat transfer vinyl, you want to mirror your image, which I'm going to be using. So each one of these, I'm just going to move them around a little bit. Whoops, not that one. Oops, it says oops there. So I'm not going to, I'm going to move these around a little bit that I can get my scissors in between and cut them. But I'm not going to do this when I want to finish it. You can see here the eye is missing, but that is another poop emoji right here for it. So it's going to cut this one out on brown and it's going to cut this one out on black. But you want to make sure you mirror it if you are doing the HTV. If you are just putting on your cellophane bags, do not mirror it and don't use HTV. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to change the size of my thing and then I will show you the next step of how put how you put your HTV onto your toilet paper. All right. so the next step is heat press or if you have an iron. I have my heat press set at 305 for 20 seconds and then I also have my Teflon uh, paper up top. I just tape the top of it but be careful. I put I just put it on now rather than before I started heating it so just be careful with that so here are my weeded things I don't know if you can see it so well but they are done and they are weeded here's my toilet paper I'm going to be using I'm just using cheap toilet paper from like Dollar Tree or Dollar General so that I have my tough one tip paper up here I don't have to worry about wrapping it or anything I'm gonna carefully just put this on maybe you can see my file a little bit better here but uh, get it on straight and then if you have it how you like it just kind of give it a little bit of pressure to keep sure make sure that it stays on and then instead of putting your heat press down on it and squishing it you just want to hold it up here and give it some pressure so I did that part for about 10 seconds and I'm just gonna turn it so I get all of it on the heat press for about 10 seconds at a time. But as you can see, I'm pushing it with a little bit of pressure. I'm not giving it too much pressure. I mean, you could push it down on it, but this is the way that I like to do it. You just wanna make sure you allow enough time for your HTV to um, adhere to your toilet paper. And this is where it comes in handy that the Teflon paper is already on your 
heat press. I'm just making sure I get all the sides and all the pieces. So once you think you get it, you just carefully peel back, don't burn your fingers. Carefully peel back the plastic part, making sure that nothing comes up. Perfect. So here it is. On the toilet paper rather than on the bag. This is so much better looking than putting it in a plastic bag. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with the next one. Just have a toilet paper. I'm looking where the uh, starting point is, right here. I'm looking for the edge of this and I'm gonna do it on the back side of that. So I'm just gonna take the next one. This one is the tear wrapper in case of emergency. So I have two pieces to this one. So I'm gonna make sure that this is on straight. So there it is, so here's the first part. Again, I'll show you, I can put this on like this and hold it down, but then it's hard to see where it's um, pushing on it. So that's why I like to hold it on the heat press a little bit better, but I'm allowing at least 10 seconds and then I, I turn it and then I'll do it for another 10 seconds, making sure that it's on. But if you have a iron, you can do this the same exact way. I actually upgraded to this a while ago to my heat press. I was using irons. When I was doing HTV, it would not stick on as well. So I just I just sold some things and I made some money and I, I upgraded to this heat press. I absolutely love it. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend looking into it. I love this one. It was about $120, $130 for the heat press. I absolutely love it. It was well worth the money. You can do t-shirts and whatever else you want on these. So here it is. I'm just gonna give it one last good little rub. And then just peel back, making sure that none of your HTV comes up with it. And if it does, just throw it back under the heat. So that one worked perfectly and then this one has the poop emoji as well. I'm sorry for my lighting, I know it's not the best. But then I'm gonna put the poop emoji right here, kinda on the edge, push it down a little bit, make it stick, and then I'll hold it up to it and give it a little bit more pressure. And already, I already have the Teflon paper up there so I don't have to worry about it. So that was about 10 seconds. You can kinda see if it's on and it looks really well, so I'm just gonna carefully peel back. And that one worked perfectly as well. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I will show you what they look like when they are finished in better lighting. Again, I apologize for the dark lighting back here. It's part of my craft room where it doesn't have any light. But I will show you the next, um, how it looks after it's all finished. Okay, so I finished putting my HTV on these. They turned out amazing. They're not coming up. Um, just make sure that you put enough pressure and enough time on it so it does not come up. So my daughter thought this was kind of funny. I think it's funny that she kind of got that one. And then I got this one tear wrapper in case of emergency, and then I put this little poop emoji on it afterwards. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna bag it up. I got these bags from the dollar store. There's 20 of them for a dollar, so quite inexpensive. And then I just put some rope around it. You can find these in the party section, I believe, at Dollar Tree. But then I just have some raffia and some twine and some other twine to uh, put them and tie them up with. So I'm just gonna take my bag Open it up, stick your toilet paper in here. Make sure it's securely down at the bottom. So for this one, I think I'm just gonna use some of this twine here. You can use anything you want, I just have this stuff uh, on hand. Everything I bought, everything I used for this, I purchased at the dollar store, except for the vinyl. That was the only thing that, that I did not get from there. So I'm just gonna take a little piece and put it around it. Gonna make it look nice. And then just tie a knot. If you even have a ribbon, you could put ribbon around here. I think that would look kind of funny. Put anything you have on hand. So I just knotted it and turned it around, just put it in another knot. Make sure that it's secure. And then that is it, that's all you have to do. Like I said, you can use anything you want. 
any kind of way to decorate this, but I love how these turned out. Cannot wait to do this one. So for these, I'm going to be selling at our local store. I did these for Father's Day, little gag ones, and uh, they sold really well. So I'm gonna try doing these and see how they happen. But if it's like during Christmas time or if it's, you know, a holiday or anything, you can give this away as a kind of a funny present or a gag if you want. But I'm just gonna finish it up putting my bags around it and then tie in the knot, but I will show you what they look like when they're all finished. I love how these turned out. My mom and I had a lot of fun making these designs and these toilet paper gag gifts. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and will go and create your own fun toilet paper crafts. Everything you need will be listed down below in the description box. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We will have many more how to craft tutorial coming up and give us a big thumbs up to let us know you like this video. Happy crafting, everyone.